CC and I version 7, switching routing and wireless essentials. You are not required to configure host addressing. You will practice the following skills. Initial settings on router, initial setting on switch, SBI, SSH, belongs switchboard VLANs membership, other channel, VLANs, static trunking and DTP routing between VLANs on layer 3 switch, router on a stick, inter VLAN routing on a router, configure default gateways on hosts. Topology the names of the devices may vary. In my case, this is the router is RTR-1 and may vary. The multi-layer switch is MSW-1 and may vary. Switches SW2, SW3, SW4 and those names may vary. Addressing table, VLAN table, okay, names on addressing table may vary, the router, multi-layer switch, SW4 switch, and the name of VLANs may vary, Basic, basic router configuration. Configure router RTR-1 with required settings. Open common window on router RTR-1. You can access using a console uh, cable from a PC, for example, from PCA RS-232 port Connect the console port on RTR1 router. Access the PC, then go to terminal. Enter, enable configure terminal. On global configuration mode, copy and paste the following configuration into the RTR-1 router. Copy this. Right click to paste. Be sure to press Enter key. Enter. Very good. First line, second line, third line, and fourth line. Don't worry about these messages. Not problem with this. These are static routes that should be configured on the router to reach the VLANs placed on this side, on LAN1. Look at gigabit 00 in all cases. So this is gigabit 000 on router RTR1 to reach VLANs with network 10, 20, 30, and 99 placed on this side on LAN1. Very necessary. Configure the following settings on the router. Enable secret password. Choose any password that you want. Enable secret Cisco and pass. For example, but remember console password line console zero password cisco compass login remote access to the bty lines line bty 0 to 15 password cisco bty pass login a banner message of the day 
banner message of the day when authorized access is prohibited and the, the device host name according the value in the addressing table this name may vary but in my case is rtr-1 host name rtr-1 case sensitive All clear text passwords should be encrypted. Service password encryption. Interface addressing on gigabit 000 and serial 010. Interface descriptions on gigabit 000 and serial 010. Go to addressing table. On router gigabit 000 and serial 010. Okay, don't forget descriptions. Gigabit 000 interface gigabit 000 description space. This is gigabit 000 is the connection to MSW1 multilayer switch. Connection to MSW-1. Choose any description. This is only an example. And set the IP address. 192.168.01.255.255.255.0. Not shut down. Now, serial 010 is this. The connection to internet interface. Serial zero one zero description connection to internet IP address two of nine one sixty five two of one two two fifty two not shut down okay and and verify show running config Gigabit 00, serial 010, static routes, but you should you should have this default static route to reach internet. If you don't have this static route, please configure a static route using the NetScope IP address or the local interface serial 010. Okay. This is necessary and should be previously configured to reach internet. Be sure to make record of the passwords that you created. Remember this password, Cisco M pass, Cisco com pass, Cisco BTY pass. Basic switch configuration, configure remote management addressing, configure switch virtual interface 99 on switch SW4 with IP addressing according to the addressing table. Switch SW4 is this, this switch, and the name may vary, but is this switch, switch virtual interface 99. Go to addressing table, and this is switch w-4 the name may vary on vlan 99 configure this ip so access from a pc to the console port enter enable configure terminal interface vlan sorry Interface VLAN 99, okay, VLAN 99, IP address 192.168.99.18, and to let mass to Ford at the description, this is our management interface, and also you can verify VLAN 99 is 
on the VLAN table, the management VLAN. So you, the description can be management interface. Enter and not shut down to enable the interface. The switch SW4, switch virtual interface should be reachable from other networks. That means configure a default gateway. Exit IP default gateway space. And what is the default gateway for this 99 management? Is this. Okay, gigabit 001 subinterface 99 using this IP address. Okay, because if this is the switch, this is the default gateway. Gigabit 001. 001. And on VLAN 99. 17. 192.168.99.17. Very good. Configure secure remote access. Configure SSH as follows. Okay. To configure SSH on SW4 switch, first of all, verify the hostname is configured. If hostname is not configured, please configure a hostname different to switch. Okay. For example, SW4 or any other. And maybe the hostname is already configured. In my case, already configured. Now, username, admin, password, use this password. Username, admin. And the password should be secret. And use the same characters and case sensitive for the password. C, capital, one, uh, CO, one, two, three, and this character. And the Modulus 1024 bits, but before to create a crypto key, configure the domain name. AP domain name ACAD dot PD. Enter. Now configure the crypto key with modulus 1024. Crypto key generate RSA enter 1024 bits. Very good. All BTY lines should accept SSH connections only. The line BTY 0 to 15. Transport input only SSH. Connections should require the previously configured username and password. So that means use the login local command to use the local database for the username and password. Exit. That's it. Test SSH connectivity. Okay, I will do it this at the end later. VLAN configuration. Configure VLANs according to the VLAN table. Use the VLAN table to create and name the VLANs on the appropriate switches. And go to VLAN table. For example, VLAN 10 should be created on multi-layer switch SW2, SW3. VLAN 20, multi-layer switch SW2 and SW3. And 30, multi-layer switch SW2 and SW3. With 40, 50, 60, and 99 should be created on SW4. Now start uh, configure a um, multi layer switch. So access the console using a PC to connect the console port on the device and access multi layer switch console port using the terminal. Enter enable configure terminal. Now create VLAN 10, 20, and 30, and use the names. Names may vary, but in my case, I will use these names. 
villain 10, name FL1, villain 20, name FL2, villain 30, name FL3. Okay. Also configure 10, 20 and 30 on SWG2. Access console on SW2. OK, enter in enable configure terminal. VLAN 10, name FL1. VLAN 20, name FL2. VLAN 30, name FL3. Exit. Now on SW3. Access the console or SW3 terminal. Okay, enter enable configure terminal VLAN 10 name FL1, VLAN 20 name FL2, VLAN 30 name FL3. Exit. <coughs> now 40, 50, and 60 belongs. And 99 on SW4. Access SW4. VLAN uh, 4D name BDG4. 50 BDG5. 60 BDG6. 99 uh, management. Look at the name for the villa management, then exit. Assign switch ports to VLANs. Assign VLAN membership to a static access switch ports according to the port to VLAN assignment table. This is the table. Use this, for example, on switch 2. Uh, SW2 and the range from 7 to 10. Interface range from fast Ethernet 7 to 10. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. And from from eleven to fifteen, switch port mode access VLAN twenty. And for sixteen to twenty four, switch port mode access VLAN thirty. Exit. SW3, the same configuration, interface, range, for settlement, 7 to 10, switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10, 11 to 15, mode access, VLAN 20 and from 16 to 24 switch for more access VLAN 30 exit now SW4 interface range fast Ethernet 1 to 5 Switch port mode access. Access to VLAN 40. VLAN 40. 6 to 10. Access VLAN 50. 11 to 15. 
mode access VLAN 60. Uh, only interface 24, so remove range interface 24, mode access VLAN 99. Very good. Other channel and trunking configuration, other channel port assignment table. For example, channel group one, this channel group one between multi-layer switch and SW2, between multi-layer switch and SW2. On multi-layer switch gigabit one and two and switch two gigabit one and two. Okay, here on multi-layer switch interfaces and down here gigabit zero one and zero two on SW2. Okay, this table. Create other channels according the other channel port assignments table. Use the Cisco LACP protocol on both sides of the channel. Shoot from the channel without negotiation. Configure channel group one. Exit interface range. This range of interfaces gigabit 101 and gigabit 102. 101 and 102. gigabit 101 and 102. Okay. Channel group one mode active. This keyword active for LACP protocol and without negotiation. Enter. Um, port channel one is created. Now on the another side, SW2, gigabit 01 and 02. Interface range, gigabit 01 and 02. Channel group one, mode active. Very good. Port channel one was created. Channel group two, channel group two, between multi-layer switch and SW3, between multi-layer switch and SW3, on multi-layer switch gigabit 3 and 4, and on SW3 gigabit 0, 01 and 02. Okay, on multi-layer switch gigabit 103 and 104, and SW3 gigabit 0, 01 and 02. Access multi-layer switch, enter the range 3 and 4, Channel group should be two mode active. Okay, port channel two was created and access SW3 interface range gigabit 01 and 02. Channel group two mode active ready. Port channel two is created. Finally, Channel group three between SW2 and SW3 using ports five and six on both sides. Okay, channel group three between SW2 and SW3 using ports five and six on both sides. Access SW3, SW2 ports, pass Ethernet five and six. Channel group three. Remember, is three, three. Mode active. Port channel three was created. Also, go to SW three. Facet and five and six. Channel group three. Mode active. Okay, ready. Configure trunking on other channels. Configure the port channels interfaces as static trunks. Disable DTP negotiation on all trunks.
Okay, for example, uh, a multi layer switch. Remember the range uh, gigabit one and two configure to trunk these physical interfaces. First of all, configure the encapsulation switch or trunk encapsulation dot one q enter. Okay. This is uh, this command is necessary on layer three multi layer switches like 3560 switches and 3650 switches because it's necessary to create trunks. Okay, this command is not necessary on 2960 switches. Okay, this command is not necessary on 2960 switches, only on layer 3 switches okay then apply switch board mode trunk okay switch board mode trunk switch board mode trunk and disable DTP negotiation so use switch board no negotiate enter very good. Excellent. And set the another range of interfaces, gigabit one zero three and four, for the another channel. Okay. Three and four. Uh, use the same commands. Encapsulation. Enter. Enter. Uh, mode. Mode trunk. Enter. Enter. Uh, no negotiate. Enter, enter. Very good. Exit. Packet tracer requires configuration of trunking and DTP mode on both port channel interfaces and the component physical interfaces. Physical interfaces was configured with uh, trunks, but port channel interfaces should be configured. Verify and show running config. So port channel one and port channel two should be configured also strongs. Configure terminal interface port channel one. Use the same commands. Encapsulation mode trunk non negotiate. And port channel two encapsulation mode trunk and uh, sorry okay again uh, port channel 2 encapsulation mode trunk no negotiate very good exit now go to SW2 switch and the, remember the range uh, gigabit 0, 01 and 0, 02 for channel group 1, gigabit 0, 01 and 0, 02. This range. And configure strong switchboard, no trunk. Sweet, sweet support mode trunk okay and non negotiate very good the another range uh, 5 and 6 for channel group 3 5 and 6 same commands mode trunk non negotiate exit and show running config verify also, remember to configure port channel um, 1 and port channel 3. Configure terminal interface port channel 1. Same commands. Mode trunk, non negotiate, and 3. 
Maltron. No negotiate. And SW3. The range for interfaces gigabit 01 and 02 for channel group 2. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port non negotiate. And the another range 5 and 6. No trunk, no negotiate. And um, verify show running config. Remember to configure port channel 2 and 3. Configure terminal interface port channel 2. Okay, again, port channel 2. Same commands, no trunk, no negotiate. Port channel 3, no trunk. No negotiate. Okay, very good. Then configure a static trunk uplink. On SW4 switch, configure the port that is connected to RTR-1 gigabit 001 uh, static trunk. Okay, SW4. And the port connected to the router RTR1 is gigabit 01. So configure this strong. Okay, gigabit 01. Enter, enable, configure terminal interface gigabit 01. Switch port mode trunk. Configure the management VLAN as the native VLAN. And what is the management VLAN? Management VLAN is VLAN 99 and use 99 as the native VLAN. So that's why here SW4 VLAN 99 says native and management. Okay, switch port, trunk. Native VLAN 99. Enter. Disable DTP. Okay. Switch port. No negotiate. Very good. Now configure inter VLAN routing. Configure inter VLAN routing on the layer 3 switch. Configure inter-VLAN routing on multi-layer switch, layer 3 switch for all VLANs in the VLAN table that are configured on multi-layer switch. Okay, up here, multi-layer switch, VLAN 10, 20, and 30. On addressing table, multi-layer switch, VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 99. Configure all this. Interface VLAN 10. You can set the description. For, for example, the description is um, for VLAN 10, FL1, VLAN, FL, uh, FL1. And set the IP address. IP address 182.168.10.1. 0. Now shut down. VLAN 20. Description FL2. IP address 20.1. And shut down. VLAN 30. Description FL3. 
IP address 30.1, no shut down, um, VLAN 99. Ninety-nine. Description uh, it can be uh, FL ninety-nine, for example. IP address ninety-nine. That one subnet mask two forty at the end is not zero and not shut down. Exit. And remember to enable the routing, IP routing command. Finally, and verify the following show running config. And you should have a default static route to reach another networks. Okay, using the NetHop IP address or the local interface gigabit 111. Okay, but this default static route should exist to reach another networks on LAN 2 or to reach internet. Very necessary. Configure switch port on multilayer switch 1 that is connected to RTR1 router with an IP address as shown in the addressing table. Okay. There is a connection to router and uses uh, multi-layer switch uses gigabit 111. And it's this, configured with an IP address. It's a layer three connection. Configure terminal, interface gigabit 111. Description, connection to RTR1 router, no switch port to no switch port. Now it's a layer 3 port and you can set an IP address. 192.168.0.2.0. Okay. It's not necessary the command must shut down. Now, configure router on a stick, intervillant routing on a router. Configure intervillant routing on RTR1 for all the VLANs that are, that are configured on SW4 switch. Use the information in the addressing table. Be sure configure description on all interface. Okay, uh, look at the connection to SW4 is gigabit 001. Okay. It's for all VLANs on SW4, you need to configure subinterfaces on gigabit 001. Go to the addressing table and is this all subinterfaces on gigabit 001. Gigabit 000 already configured, serial 010 already configured. So configure only these subinterfaces. Enter. Password Cisco com pass enable Cisco and pass configure terminal interface gigabit 001.40 and first of all the description for example VLAN 4D on SW4 is the BDG4 BDG4 encapsulation belongs to this network 4D belongs to this network 4D okay it's BDG and the VLAN is 4D so the encapsulation should use dot 1Q 4D okay encapsulation and set the IP address and this is the IP address here One I two one sixty eight forty that one. Now, sub interface fifty. Description BDG five. Encapsulation. 
50 and the other is 50.1 this this IP now sub interface 60 description BDG6 encapsulation 60 IP address 60.1 and subinterface 99 description 99 on this side is this management 99 network and remember it's management and also on a tip remember when you configure gigabit 01 on SW4 you set Gigabit 01, uh, strong port, and also use Natip VLAN 99. So VLAN 99 is the management VLAN and also Natip VLAN. So you need to specify here the description that is the Natip and also management. But choose any description, no problem with this. The, the important thing is when you configure the encapsulation is 99 but it's not tip. okay this is very important because the another side uses another side on the switch uses native belong 99 so 99 should be native and set this ip address on the other table 99 17 to 40 IP address 99.17.240. Okay, access physical interface gigabit 001, no shutdown. Configure gateways or hosts. Configure the default gateway addresses on all hosts. Okay, these are all hosts. IP addresses may vary, but this is the configuration for IP and subnet mask, but you need to add the default gateway. And uh, the full gateway for this host on LAN1 is the multi-layer switch. This, this IP address is 10 1, 21, 31, 99 1. For example, PC1, close this. Okay, on VLAN 10 should be 10 1. VLAN 20, PC2 should be uh, 20 that one. VLAN 30 on PC3. Theory that one. VLAN Tang on PC4 10 that one on PC5 20 that one on PC6 theory that one and for LAN2 for all PCs on this side, gigabit 001 is the default gateway, and use these sub interfaces 41, 51, 61, 99, 70. Okay, for VLAN 4D, 4D, that one. IP addresses may vary, but the default gateway is only one, 4D, that one. VLAN 50. 
50 that one VLAN 60 60 that one and PC 99 is 99.70 this 99.70 verify connectivity with between all hosts on um, both lines with each other and the internet server okay for example PC1 common prompt ping PC2 in my case, IP address may vary, but in my case, it's 20.10. 192, Okay, repeat. Okay. If pin fails, uh, copy running config on these three switches and reload. Okay, for example, multi layer switch, terminal, okay, enter and copy running config to startup config. Enter, 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 then reload. And uh, SW2, this is another switch, same process on terminal. Okay, enable copy running config to start up config, enter, enter, reload. And SW3, terminal, enter, enable configure terminal, uh, and Copy running config to startup config. Enter, enter, then reload. Okay, and wait a minute. wait for the green LED indicators and go back to PC1 close terminal open common prompt and try to ping PC2 again PC2 20.10 okay ping 20.10 Success. PC3 30 that 10. This IP may vary, but in my case is 30 that 10. Success. PC4 10 11. And 11 success PC5 2011 success
they trade again 2011. Okay, wait a minute for the green LED indicators. Okay, try again to PC5, turn it at 11. This IP may vary, but in my case is turn it at 11, success. PC6 30.11 Success PC7 Only one success, repeat, all success now, PC8, 50.10, IP may vary, but in my case 50.10. Success, PC9, 60.10. Success PC ninety nine ninety nine twenty six. The IP may vary in my case is ninety nine that twenty six. Success Pink Internet Server two of three zero one one three one zero zero. success and also from uh, for example pc9 ping another pcs ping for example pc2 turn it at tank success ping pc6 Thirty that eleven. Thirty that eleven. Success. Pink. Uh, PC ninety nine. Ninety nine twenty six. Ninety nine twenty six. Success. Pink internet. Two oh three zero one one three one hundred success and very good. All is working very fast. Verify that host can connect switch virtual interface on SW4 over SSH. For example, for on PC9 access switch virtual interface on S4. Remember the IP address of SW4 is ninety nine eighteen. SSH option L set the username this username admin and the IP address 192.168.99.18 enter and set this password remember this password K sensitive C capital letter 1 S C O 1 2 3 and a character enter very good. You are on the switch. Exit. Also, verify from a remote uh, for a long one. 
for example, from PC3. As a search option L admin the IP address 9918C1 SC or one two three character enter. Very good. Exit. Thank you very much.